Hi there, welcome back to my fly tying channel and maybe occasionally a fly fishing video um, or even a fishing video, who knows. Um, this is our third fly for the smallmouth series that I'm doing and now we're going to tie a couple flies the next couple weeks that are going to be considered, let's say, middle column of the water column instead of top water. We did two of those. Now we're going to look at the middle middle column of there and we're going to tie two flies. The first one we're going to tie is uh, this week will be the the Wildcat streamer that uh, Chad Miller of uh, Wildcat Creek Outfitters in Indiana he designed this uh, fly to specifically target smallmouth bass in his rivers or creeks there but uh, the the fly is kind of interesting because not only has he caught smallmouth with it, but he's also even caught bonefish, flathead catfish, some steelhead, as well as trout. And I'm sure that all depends on the size size fly that you're you're tying on on that on there. And this streamer is supposed to kind of imitate a uh, black nose dace of some type. Um, yeah, I, I don't don't see it but uh, that's what he claims in his in the article anyway let's take a look at the fly and uh, we'll uh, we'll get tying it this is the wildcat streamer and you'll it's got lead eyes so it's actually going to swim kind of like that this white piece of fur is the belly but uh, we'll uh, We'll take it out and we'll start tying. We'll explain the materials as we go along. In there. The hook that we're going to use is a special use TMC hook, uh, 8089 in a size 10. Go ahead and put that in there. I'm going to debarb it first. You don't have to debarb yours, but. I like to debar mine. Yeah. I forgot to set the camera up. And hopefully that'll be all in the frame here. The thread I'm going to use is uh, some gray 6 aught thread. And we'll start that right back behind the, the eye of the hook. And we'll take the thread back to about where the barb of the hook used to be. Our next material is we're going to, for the tail, we're going to use some rabbit strips and chinchilla or whatever natural color you want to use. seem to have lost my tail. So I guess we'll have to cut one out. The tail you're going to want, it's going to want to be uh, three inches long. And you'll see there's a sense of direction with the with that, so we're gonna 
make sure we tie it that way. So you're going to want a three inch piece. I'm going to kind of divide the fur here in half, get my scissors, and just cut the cut that. And then again, the the hair want you want it to flow towards the back, so I'm going to go ahead and take some of this off so I get a cleaner cut. You could use super glue, but from way I understand leather that when it gets wet it swells up so you don't really need to uh, do super glue but you can if you want Our next material we're going to want to use is going to be some uh, crystal flash and purple, dark purple, whatever color you want to use. And that's got to be about three inches in length as well. But we're only going to we're going to tie it in so that we can like double it, so it'll be actually an inch and a half long trying to keep that on top and the purple is kind of like that little sheen or color reflection that you'll see sometimes in a black nose dates and that's what is what gives us the kick of that and it's not uh, so there's really very there isn't really any black in here. It's just that touch of purple flash in there. And we're going to take our thread forward and place it about the third, one third point from the eye. And And that's about right there. And we'll just and tie that in. make sure that we're the eye is perpendicular and I'm going to go ahead and use a little super glue to make sure it's tight and we'll helicopter around there and then we'll kind of build that dip right there a little bit. And why it seems like I probably tied this tail in upside down is really it's going to ride hook point up. So, so that's, that's why I tied it with the leather side up. I might not have mentioned that. <clears throat> Let me put my Zonker strip away.
Next material we're going to do is we're going to use some cross-cut rabbit strips. And basically a rabbit, normal rabbit strip is cut from the head to the tail. It's cut in this fashion. And with cross-cut, it's cut across like from shoulder to shoulder. So then the, the hide or the, the thing, as you can see, instead of coming straight off, it's, it leans to the back. In there so when we tie this in we're going to want to make sure that it's going that way if we tied it in this way with the fur going to the eye we'd have to always be pushing it back so we're gonna take a little off so we don't have hair in there and uh, Tie that down. And we'll take that back behind the eye. And as you can see, I've got the hair now is flowing towards the tail or the hook bend. And as you see, we can lay it down. It's it's just naturally flowing, flowing to the back. And we're just going to wrap this up behind the, the eye of the hook building the body. And then we'll try to separate this down here where we're going to tie it in at. Lock that in and we'll go ahead and trim this off. cover that in. Next we're going to do is we're going to put a little brown cross cut for a head and again we're going to look make sure that our that the flow of the fibers is going towards the hook And I'm going to strip a little bit off. And I'm going to tie it on the bottom. And then we're going to add some uh, some white zonker strips, and this is going to represent the belly. And you only need a three half inch, maybe three quarters of an inch piece. And we're going to tie that in upside down because we're going to flip it over. And we'll move our thread over.
just give it one turn and I'm just going to place it underneath here to lock it in in front. Kind of separate it out. And we'll trim that. And secure that tag in. And then we're going to kind of give it a part right here so we can get this white belly. over the eye. And we'll trim that excess off. Right there. And then we'll build up our head. And uh, we'll give it a whip finish. Trim that off, and then I'm going to be brave here, and I'm going to try to get rid of some of these fibers. So I'm just going to light a match and flick it around there. And then I'm going to put a little head cement, well, kind of like that, those fibers right there. Get rid of those a little bit. And again, that fly will run this way. That's the white belly of the, the bait fish. And uh, that there is our uh, wildcat streamer. All right, that was the the cat. Wildcat streamer. We'll uh, see how that works on, on the Greenbrier this year. All right. Give it a tie. The next, next sub surface or mid column fly we're going to tie will be Chuck Craft's uh, curly tail critter bug. And uh, that one should be a little bit easier of a tie. 
But uh, we'll see you on the water. Give it a try. Let me know how it works for you. All right. We'll talk to you later.